be doing an NFL tier list, all the teams in the NFL, from best to worst. I will have the most accurate list you will see on YouTube. Really? No. Let's get it. It's tier list time, boys. Where do we start? I feel like most of these teams are kind of obvious. Rams, they just won the Super Bowl. You got to put them in the S tier. I think we can all agree on that. They have some of the greatest players in the league. You know, they have Stafford, who's like a great quarterback. Then you have Aaron Donald. You have Cooper Cuppington. You have Jalen Ramsey. I don't even think you can argue that, right? Can we all agree on that? Let's get that out the way. They're S tier. Some of these teams are going to be interesting. Bills, are they A or S? I don't think you can call them out of S tier. I don't know if you can. They're a Super Bowl favorite. You have Josh Allen. If he continues playing like the way he is, he's a Hall of Famer. You have Stephon Diggs, a top receiver in the league. They have Singletary, really good running back. Micah Hyde, Jordan Poyer, Tredavious White. I forgot their backup corner. He's decent. They have Tremaine Edmond. They have a stacked up team. Bills, S tier, one of the Super Bowl favorites. LA Chargers. First, what do you guys think? What do you, where do you guys have the Chargers? Doo doo. <laughs> a, A, I'll take that. That's not bad. That's not bad. B, okay. Get out of the stream. C or D? Oh, okay. We have the baby goat, Justin Herbert, looking like a future MVP. The next prodigy of the NFL. Probably will get one of the highest paid contracts in the NFL. Parham, the Madden glitch. I know you guys are saying, it's Madden. I don't care. All pro Joey Bosa. Khalil Mack attack. I know you guys are saying, well, he's out of his prime. We don't really even know that. He didn't play a full season. S tier. S tier. S tier. Could say I'm being biased, or you could just say I'm speaking facts. If you don't like it, cry. Oh, this is where it gets interesting. Uh, Tennessee Titans. Oh, this is a hard one. I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say they're B tier. They got the new wide out, what's his name, Traylon Burks? But they lost AJ Brown. That is a heavy loss. But the thing is, it's looking optimistic. They're an optimistic B. Dolphins. Oh, this is a hard one. The thing is, the Dolphins have so many weapons. But it really comes down to what can they do? Dolphins could be from A or C. Like, it could be anywhere here. Yeah, it all depends on Tua. I'm, yeah, I'm with you guys. I'm going to put them B tier. I'm going to put them in the same situation as the Titans. They're an optimistic B. I'm going to go C tier. Mainly because they have a lot of talent, which could be enough to get them out of the dumps. I freaking love the Bengals. They have so much swag. But let's be real. I don't know if any of us thought they were going to make it to the Super Bowl. But on paper, T. Higgins, Jamar Chase, Joe Burrow, Joe Mixon. If it was offense strictly, I'd say S tier. But since it's not, I'll say A tier. Browns, oh man. Are we talking with or without Deshaun Watson? They did get Amari Cooper. That is pretty big. With Deshaun Watson, I'm putting him in C tier. The Browns will always be the Browns. It just, things don't change sometimes. Jacksonville. Okay, Jacksonville's interesting. After Jacksonville lost Urban Myers, they started cooking. So they may, you could say they may have overpaid from receivers, but I do think a lot of it is just they want to do whatever they can to get star power in Jacksonville. Uh, what's his name? Trayvon Walker, who looks like a beast. Because of what they did in free agency, they're out of the dirt. They're in C tier. Lions made some moves. Lions made moves. Is it enough to get them out of C tier? Jared Goffington, they have a really good wide receiving core, but I don't know if I could put him in B tier. I can't put him there just yet. I can't. I'm keeping him in C tier. Vikings! Oh! Vikings got, dude, Vikings are nasty. Do we put Vikings in A tier? But I take the Vikings over Tennessee and Dolphins. I'll put them in B. They're a high B tier. Mainly because, obviously, they have Kirk Cousins. If they had, like, an elite quarterback, they'd probably be an A or an S. But Kirk Cousins, they do have Justin Jefferson, Adam Thielen, Dalvin Cook, so they have a beast offense. Buccaneers, A tier. Ooh, are they at S tier? What do you guys think? They're one or two pieces away from being S tier. Julio washed, but the thing is, he may be washed, but Brady's gonna find him. And they said the same thing about Antonio Brown and OBJ. He started cooking. 49ers, this is an interesting one. B, I don't even know if I can put him in B. I'll, I'll put him at the bottom of B tier. They have like an amazing defense and they have Debo, but that quarterback situation, that's the thing. Do I put Falcons in D? I may gotta put Falcons in D. I'm putting him in D. Falcons in D, Falcons in D. I love Mariota. I love all the Hawaiian quarterback. They're in D tier. Ravens. Ravens is a hard one because Lamar was hurt for the entire season. I'm gonna put the Ravens in a high B tier because of Action Jackson. But they lost Marquise Brown. They lost the Speedster. I think that's perfect. Bears, I'm sorry. The Bears, oh, dude, the Bears, no. Cowboys.
Cowboys. If Cowboys didn't leave Amari Cooper, if they had a better offseason, I'd put them higher. Cowboys A. Cowboys are not an A. Cowboys an A. There's no freaking way Cowboys are an A. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, oh, okay. Cowboys, high C, I think they have the potential because they do have weapons. They lost the line, which is always the whole reason why they succeed. Trayvon Diggs, I think he's overrated. Texans, worst franchise in history. They are the worst franchise ever. Colts, I'm gonna put in low C tier. Michael Pittman, Jonathan Taylor, forgot what Jonathan Taylor. Wait, they got Stephon Gilmore. Okay, I forgot about that. Raiders, Raiders is a hard one. Do I dare put the Raiders in A? I'm putting him in A tier, putting him in A tier. Devontae Adams, Hunter Renfro. I mean, Josh Jacobs, all right, but Derek Carr, that's solid. Oh, wait, but with the Bengals? Ooh. High B, high B. Washington Commanders, AKA the Lamanders. So I'm gonna put them, I'll put them in C tier. They got Carson Wentz, Carson can ball, but who knows? You don't know which Carson's gonna show up. They do have Scary Terry. They do have some good running backs. Or like, you know, good enough running backs. You know, they just need Carson. Bears at S tier? You are smoking crack. Chiefs, A tier. I gotta put the Chiefs in A tier. They have Patrick Mahomes. Lost Tyreek? Yeah, but you have my homeboy. Saints! Oh! The Saints is an interesting one. The B teams are hard. Because the B teams are all about how will they play this season. Because of that, being the B tier. A and S tier are going to cook. Now, Giants, D tier. They, they just don't, they don't got it. They don't got it, unfortunately. Eagles is a hard one. Eagles have a lot of talent. Eagles are not an A. They're nowhere close to an A. It, it's like an, it's like the same situation with the Dolphins. It depends on Jalen. It really all depends on Jalen. They have solid defensive backs. They beefed up the line. I will put them in that very high B tier. Steelers, I, I think you can say Steelers are B tier. They're stacked on the front seven. That's hard. It's really their quarterback situation. It's like, how far can those quarterbacks take them, you know? They're not, Steelers are not an A. Chill out, there's nowhere close to an A. I'm with you, doctor. Steelers are B tier just because of their defense. It's the only reason. I think Broncos are gonna come the ball. I think Broncos are coming to ball this season. I think they're about that life. And low A tier, like, you know, high B tier, I think they're coming to ball. You guys love to mock Russell Wilson for his Broncos country. Let's ride. They will ride. They will ride. Unless they're playing the Chargers, they're gonna get clapped. <laughs> <laughs> Can we get a let's ride in a chat? Now for the Packers. Don't understand how some people think A-Rod is not as good as advertised. I don't get it. I don't understand it. Aaron Rodgers is one of the greatest quarterbacks of the generation. That's an understatement. He's one of the greatest quarterbacks ever. They do lose Devontae Adams, that is pretty big, but I will take the Green Bay Packers over any of these B teams. Just because of A-Rod alone, I'm putting him in A. Yeah, Green Bay's staying in A. They're staying in A. Mainly because of the high tier quarterback play. Panthers, ooh, buddy. Ooh, buddy, the Panthers. The problem is about the Panthers is you don't know sometimes. Panthers are not a B. There's no way. How can you ever say Panthers are B tier? There's no freaking way. Because I'm optimistic, CMC will come back healthy. I'll put him in low C. DJ Moore, you have a speedster with Robbie. You have CMC, one of the most like versatile and just honestly best running backs when healthy. If Baker plays all right, I'll put him in C. I, I'm pretty sure we can all agree Cardinals is a B. I think that's, I, I think that's pretty, I think that's pretty fair. They have a very good roster, but they're like a high B tier team. You remember, like they played really well until they lost D Hop. I think Cardinals will get it done. Seahawks, I think we all know where Seahawks are going, man. They went from boom to bust. I have Pats. I think we can say C tier. Only reason why the Pats are C tier, if there was no Bill Belichick, I put them at D. I will have Pats in C tier. There's my list. I did all 32 teams. What do you guys think? A tier, B, A. Okay, I'll take it. I'll take it. See, I don't see any Ds, so that's good. I don't see any. Okay, there's a seven. Steelers should not be higher. Are you kidding? That's perfect. The fact that they're even in B tier is good enough. That's not ridiculous. That's not ridiculous to say that. Yes, boys. There's our tier list. Yeah, let me know what you guys think about my tier list, what you would change, or what your tier list would be. Follow me on Twitch and all my social media and all that stuff. Peace.